Okay guys, I'm back in Garena Speed Drifters. You can see it's a totally brand new car here. And this is a Speed Pass car. Snowy Skywing is the new Speed Pass car right now in GST. Totally brand new Speed Pass that uh, this car hasn't even released in QQ, so it released in GST first. Eh? So the name is Snowy Skywing. It looks like everything is average. Characteristic is every nine times you mini boost, your base max speed plus seven km per hour for eight seconds. So yeah, this is the new speed pass right now. But most of the avatar items are the pets and all. Uh, I think the pet was from a gacha or something, I don't remember. But it was supposed to be free, I think. Eh? Costume also. I'm not sure about the bottom one, but the top one is a uh, free costume actually eh? in QQ. It's only the car that they released, uh, released brand new, totally brand new, not from, uh, not released in QQ yet eh? for the A car. But for the B car, uh, this one is Asian Cup uh, limited time or event. I don't even know how to get this car. I didn't even get this car in QQ. So yeah, that's another thing. I want to say the B car characteristic is very good. Eh? <laughs> actually very good. So I'm, I actually want to try out the B car as well actually. But yeah, I'm going to review the A car only for now. Snowy Skywing. So let's full mod this straight away. Let's see how is it. So full mod is middle, left, left and left. Okay, let's test out Snowy Skywing. This is totally brand new. It has to be very good then. Okay, normal speed is 200.6. Double boost 249.4. CWW 309.8. WCW 290.3. Again, CW with characteristic 316.8, so that's a plus 7. Same with WCW, 297.3, also plus 7. Okay, WCW without any characteristic, 314.7, so I assume activate will be 321.7. Yes. Okay. Not bad so far. A bit similar like Star Hunter characteristic, every 9 mini boosts it activates. Right, we're testing first game, City 11. Ah, 2 minutes. <laughs> Talking at 159. Well, I did mistake at the start. But okay, uh, not bad. I don't feel any like 
bad turning or bad drifting all feels quite comfortable Rank solo speed, let's go Great wall, great Oh no! <laughs> Damn. I always hated that jump. But everything felt smooth, eh? Like I didn't mess up much. Only a bit of mess ups. Snow Brewery. Mostly continuous map, eh? Hey, oh, what a start. Nah. I messed up there. <laughs> but very minimal. Eh? The mess ups I'm having are just just small small mess up only. I don't know something about this car that makes it uh very uh easy to control. Like you don't really can mess up much here. Because I guess it's drifting is good, it's turning is good, it's not even strong, it's just normal, average. Average but <laughs> I can maneuver everything smoothly, so for some reason. Not great wall. <laughs> some other map is... Nightless, okay, that's a continuous map. I'm getting all the jumping maps, eh?
Ah, it's a Skywalker. I cannot chase. <laughs> Should be able to just now, but okay. Still, I got 139. That's quite good. Okay, so I'm comparing with Star Hunter. Star Hunter was an old speed pass that I really recommend last time eh, because of its uh, good continuous duration, a uh, mini boost duration and landing boost duration. So, yeah, similar characteristic that is uh, for every 9 mini boosts, but the thing that activates is different. Eh? So, like Star Hunter gives you end tank and gives you max speed plus 5 km per hour for 5 seconds for snowy skywing same uh, 9 mini boost but base max speed plus 7 km for 8 seconds so the duration is longer it's 8 seconds uh, buff is quite long eh? and for 9 boosts you probably can get 9 boosts uh, faster than the 8 second mark so basically you're activating it almost every time eh? similar like star hunter like if you're doing a lot of continuous okay for star hunter it's only 5 second uh, 5 second buff but yeah this one is uh, 8 second buff so the characteristic will be like activate most of the time your speed will be always let's say 316 most of the time if you're doing CW. and uh, compare with the stats uh, you can see that uh, there's two drifts eh? the, this is actually the mini boost duration your how long can you continuous so star hunter wins by that because he has a longer mini boost uh, landing boost and flying boost duration well this car doesn't have so it's not really a continuous car but if you look at his speed I think this one is uh, faster yeah okay because it's 309 and tank looks like this might be lesser but makes it I guess it's N, uh, not N tank sorry it's uh, charge time might be better I guess 10 star hunter if I'm not mistaken turning it looks almost the same but for me it looks like it's a bit bigger and it's uh, power is stronger than star hunter so I can say uh, star hunter is more for continuous map okay still Snowy Skyring is basically you can use any map yeah. even if it's not continuous map because from the from the few games I played just now I feel like this car is comfortable to use because of how, how balanced the drift, the turning and the end tank charge time and the power I feel like everything is just, just right <laughs> that I do lesser mistakes than usual but it doesn't have any special characteristics like extra anti-tank gathering it doesn't have that lah it doesn't have the anti-tank gathering or maybe mini boost duration longer or strong turning or strong lifting it doesn't have all that so yeah it doesn't have any special kind of uh, characteristic that activates but it's very comfortable to drive on I can do like very minimal mistakes using this but I won't say it's the best lah okay okay let me compare with other speed pass cars I guess last time it was Paula Shadow Star because uh, it's not a speed pass in QQ but it's a speed pass in GST. Yeah. Paula Shadow Star is definitely slightly better lah okay but characteristic is overtaking uh, overtaken kind of uh, yeah it's a battle car okay if you see here um, it says here in the air that means it's suitable for multiple jumping map so yeah I think because of the 9 mini boost characteristic it is uh, actually a continuous, uh, how to say, it's a jumping, it's a suitable for jumping map lah. Because jumping gives you the mini boost uh, count, but it doesn't have to be jumping map eh. It can be any other maps, like you're doing normal CW, WCW, whatever boost boost you do. As long as you just 9, you get this uh, characteristic. So I can say jumping map if you don't need the extra mini boost duration, like just now I play you don't really need the extra 0 0.12 second to do continuous you can continuous without those characteristics yeah this car is it <laughs> basically you don't need those mini boost duration on the jumping maps you can use snowy skywing for this all right so i think that will be it for this review thank you guys for watching see you guys next time